Alright guys, welcome back as to this back that I mean I have this 2008 Chevy Impala. You see the box. So we're gonna do the alternator, uh, which is right there. You see it, you see it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, before I get into the action, please subscribe to the channel, do that for me. Um, like this video, share this video, and the feedback put in the comment box. It is. Um, hit the bell too, alright? Uh, Every time I upload something new, you're gonna be the first one to know. You did. Other than that, hey, don't forget to put the tip on the table, god damn it. See, if you wanna help me out, uh, you can give me a tip or just watch the whole ad. All right? Do that for me. I would appreciate it. Okay, don't skip the, the ad. All right? Just watch the whole ad, go through it, and yeah it should be good enough for me all right uh let's get it we're gonna remove uh, one of these one uh you could remove this one or that one it doesn't matter all right the ground or the power i'm gonna go for the ground 10 millimeter okay now we're gonna put it on the side. Battery is dead by the way, so not worry about it. Now we're gonna remove all this. I'll remove this guy right here. This is on the way. Pull it up just like that. Ah! I'm gonna put this guy back. Okay. You don't want, you don't want nothing to drop in there. Alright. All right, so uh, the tensioner, the belt tensioner is right here. This guy right here, okay. All right. And if you want to get there, you, you're going to have to come this way. Through there, right? Pretty much. So you come through here, right? And if you remove this guy, you see that square? That's where you're gonna put the 3 8 and push it that way, okay? And then the bell is gonna get loose and that's how you're gonna remove the bell. It is. But if you need more space, you can come through the other side. Remove these clips that are like right there, holding it right here and right here. They look like this. Okay, there's another one over there. But, yeah, remove those and then better access, okay? Oh, better access uh, to the uh, belt tensioner. So, so we come to the top. We'll remove this guy just like that because it's loose now. We just do it like that to the side, okay? Now, we have this guy. I'm gonna do this one. Okay, that's gonna be a 12, if I'm not mistaken. Then we have this ball right here. Okay. And then there's one in the back. That one right there. Okay. All right, so this is gonna be 15. The one in the back is gonna be 15 too. That one right there. But even with the shortest socket, you're not gonna have that much space. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove this guy, which is the uh, front engine engine mount, this one and that one. Okay. So you have, and then you pull the engine towards the front, so you have more space in the back. So you gotta remove this. Remove this one too. The bolt. Now you can rack it forward. You see. Now you have the space to put your uh, short uh, 15 millimeter and the tennis 3A ratchet you have. Here's the guy right here. Boy, you're not gonna be able to pull it out. Okay, so just leave it there, loose. And then this one, we're gonna, we're gonna remove it. We're gonna try to remove it. We might probably gonna have to remove this guy, but I'll let you know, okay. All right, so yeah, definitely. This ball hit against the uh, 
coolant reservoir, so I'm gonna remove the coolant reservoir. Ten millimeter, this too. Let's pull it up. Put it right there. Now I have way more space here. Yeah. Now this, just rock it. It's a pry bar, put over here. All right, you remove this one in the back. I mean, it's still there though, okay. You remove this one. You remove the reservoir, just right there. And then there's another one. Just right there. See this one right here? It's a 10 millimeter right there. Get a better. Let me get a better angle. Okay, you see that one right there? There's a, a nut, then there's like a bracket, remove the bracket, and then there's a, another nut which is like 15. Okay. Alright, so. Alright, so once you are removed that one, which is this one right here. Okay. Here it is, pull it out. Probably gonna need two hands, but. Alright, and disconnect this one right here, okay? That's pretty much it for now. So. That's a brand new uh, alternator, alright? If your car died because of the alternator wasn't charging the battery and you were driving with the battery juice and then it died, your car died, uh, what you gotta do once you replace the alternator, let the car idle for 30 minutes or drive it for 30 minutes. minimum so that's enough time for the uh, alternator to recharge the battery okay if you have any comments uh, oh another tip you don't have to go underneath uh, if it's too tight here for you even though if you remove the uh, the coolant reservoir you could reach once you remove the coolant reservoir you can reach the valve tensioner through here okay Make sure the car is shut down, okay? Never work uh, in tight places like this with the pulleys moving, okay? You don't want to get injured, all right? So, um, yeah, if you remove the uh, coolant reservoir, you can reach the bell tensioner through here, okay? You don't have to go through there, like I did, but that's another option. There's two ways then, okay? I think through here is easier, all right? Uh, if you have any questions, just put it in the comment box for me. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, do that for me. That's how you can help me out. Uh, this was a 2008 Chevy Impala, okay? Other than that, um, oh yeah, uh, hit the bell every time I up upload something new, you're gonna be the first one to know. And another way you can help me out is by uh, watching the whole ad, the entire ad, ad. Okay, don't skip it. Watch it, go through it, and keep watching my video. Okay, because if you watch the whole ad, that's how you can help me out. Uh, since you're getting this video for free, all right? I appreciate the help. Uh, and the other way is if you leave the tip on the table, god damn it, do that too if you can. If you don't know how to do it, just put it in the comment box and, I, and I'll tell you how to do it, all right? Uh, but that's pretty much it. I hope you like this video, I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one. I like your boy, it's too. Ow! Eat.